How are you? Hello. Where I did my training at, um, at Vanderbilt uh, University in Nashville, we did a lot of ear surgery, a lot of advanced ear surgery, and a lot of cochlear implants. So during my training, um, I participated in many of these surgeries, did many of these surgeries, so it's something I feel very comfortable doing and something that when I first started wanted to bring to the community and it's, it's taken some time but it has finally happened and the hospital has been very supportive. My practice has been very supportive and so I think just having the expertise and then seeing the need for it has led me to be the first one to do it up here. I wasn't hearing like I should and uh, my family, it ran in the family that uh, they needed hearing aids and wore hearing aids. As we started to talk about it more, um, she seemed to be an ideal person to do a cochlear implant on. She's you know, a high-functioning individual, really likes to interact with people. She goes out to breakfast with her friends who are in their 80s almost every morning, and so she really wanted to be able to hear them and hear her family. And so hearing her story, and then the timing just worked out that uh, we were able to get approval to do the surgery up here at uh, Carolina's Medical Center Northeast. And uh, so she's been a great first patient, has had great outcome. Ice cream. Ice cream. Rainbow. I'll do it again, okay? Rainbow. Rainbow. Baseball. Baseball. Toothpaste. Toothpaste. What color is your shirt? Blue. <laughs> Good. It'll always be blue. <laughs> is it? <laughs> so that's an easy one. It means a lot for this, the local community that there are a lot of people here that are hearing impaired and they know there are options out there even if they're completely deaf and have been completely deaf for some time, there's options to restore their hearing and that we um, as a practice and as a community can take care of all their hearing needs.